Leprechaun, leprosy, Jennifer Aniston. Dude, she is gorgeous in that movie. Anyways, Leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What is up, guys? We're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. I'm Wynn. And we're back with another film report for y'all. It's like a book report, but on a film. So, you know, we're just answering questions about movies, you know. It's not our current stuff like we normally do, like Cherry or uh, I Care A Lot. Go check out those that come out this week, I believe. Um, but we're doing Leprechaun because it's St. Patrick's Day today. Yay! Yay! Uh, go drink a Guinness or something. I don't know. Yeah, go go steal a pot of gold or something. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> this movie's logic with that whole, like... Leprechaun just like running around looking for gold. He's not uh, even looking for gold. He just wanted to torture people. Yeah. Oh, the the second one, the leprechaun's just horny and he just wants a <laughs> wife. Like so. But um synopsis. <laughs> I want you to give the synopsis one. <laughs> so <laughs> there's this little shithead looking thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh apparently his gold got taken. How did how was that explained? The guy in the beginning just takes the gold. Okay. And that's it. Oh, I guess. Like he's just he rolls up with the gold at the house, and he's like, "I got, yeah. I got the gold or whatever." Yeah. And then the leprechaun shows up, and I guess he swam like four or five thousand miles across the ocean just to get that gold back, because the dude just shows up out of nowhere. Apparently, I guess in a crate. Is that what they? I don't remember. They put him in a crate. Okay. Yeah. Like, and that it's the same house that Jennifer Aniston yeah, yeah. shows up in. So this leprechaun's looking for his gold. He got taken away, and then Jennifer Aniston and his dad showed up. I thought that was just, a, I thought that was like a sugar daddy type thing. <laughs> I, for the first time, I did, like, I was like, what is going on? She's too, yeah. he's too old. But yeah, uh, there's, there's this like, family. there's this gang of people, uh, like uh, this gang, like friends, I guess, mm -hmm. and uh, they get haunted by the leprechaun the entire movie, and yeah. in very creative ways too. Which but, is completely fine. I mean, no, this this series of movies, I've only seen like three. I've seen this one, Leprechaun 2, and Leprechaun like back in the hood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think for one of them, That's there was like a remake in the... Th like three or four years ago, yeah, yeah. Jennifer Aniston comes back, and that's she's only in this one and that one. Yeah, but um, it's a it's a film for sure. Yeah. Well, it's and, a good, hey, it's boosted five hundred and fifty one spots on IMDb, probably because of the St. Patrick's Day coming up. So. Nice. Or I mean, this is St. Patrick's Day, but um, super specific genre. It's a I'd say a comedy horror. Yeah, like these are the, these are uh, reminisce to like. Um, scary movies. Yes, but also like I feel like some of the later Friday the Thirteenth get really like goofy. Yeah, like yeah. have you seen Jason X? No. It has one of my favorite horror movie kills. So he wakes up from this like cryo sleep, and they give him like cybernetics and stuff to like read. Yeah. And then he takes this girl, puts her face in like the cryo stuff, and freezes it, and then just Busses smashes it, yeah, her yeah. head on the table. Like it just looks like. Violent, cool. yes, <laughs> and it's just like, but yes, um, and it says comedy, fantasy, horror, so yes, fair. Yeah. I never think about fantasy as a genre, I don't think I've seen enough fantasy movies like Labyrinth. I need to see that. The Dark Isn't Crystal, the count as fantasy? yeah, yeah, I guess, Isn't but it? like the obscure, like. I, I know Dark Crystal, I think, is the one that has like a show going or is had one. Fantasy? No, that's fiction, but non fiction, Star Wars. It's kind of fantasy. I mean, it is just space wizards. Space cowboys. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> back to Leprechaun. Uh, favorite character. I. It's got to be the Leprechaun for me. <laughs> the, yeah, what a turd. I like him. <laughs> That's the perfect word. He's a fucking turd. <laughs> he literally looks like a turd. He does. He looks like a nasty shit. Shout out to the makeup artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Uh it's kidding it. it. It won. It won the one award it was nominated for. Was this movie? Did this movie come out in 1991 or 1998? 93. 93. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dyslexia. At the Fangoria Chainsaw Awards, it won worst film. Oh, nice. <laughs> at least it won something. Um, it did get nominated for best makeup at that. I don't. I mean, I don't know how big the Fangoria Chainsaw Awards are. Probably horror movie awards, but you know, it's an award. It's probably filled with that. Uh... Rob Zombie movies. Yes. I feel like it would be 
appropriate to have the Rob Zombie movies accounted for that. I need a new Rob Zombie movie. You need to watch Three from Hell. You need to watch the other, because uh, that was our first film report. Was uh, what is it? God, a thousand, House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah, the other ones just get better, man. <laughs> they do. They do. I promise. Love how Rain Wilson was in that movie. Oh yeah. Yeah. Probably the last person I thought it would be in a movie like that. Um, what was the first thing? <laughs> yeah, Leprechaun favorite character, favorite scene, favorite scene. I I anything with Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> no. I don't know the kills like I are just like great in the Leprechaun movies. Uh, I'm trying to. Um, I think I'm. I'm not trying to confuse one. I'm trying to remember. Because <laughs> this is movie, this the one, yeah, I mean, it was all over the place. Oh, it man. is. There's okay. Isn't this the one he goes to like some store? Oh yeah, and then he uses a. a, a yes, yes, and he thing. pumps him up. Yeah, yes. yeah, I remember that. Ah, that's probably one of my favorites from this one, at least. Where's me gold? Or where's he? I don't know why he killed that guy in the pawn shop. Oh, just you know why not? <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> the gold. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. That's this movie, man. And I thought that guy kept that. Hey, that coin. But this guy not. also wrote a Rumpelstiltskin movie. So nice. <laughs> I guess. Oh no, he did take that coin from that pawn guy. Yeah. Leprechaun two, Leprechaun three, Leprechaun four in space. Leprechaun Why? five. There's the Leprechaun in space. Leprechaun five in the hood. Leprechaun six. Back to. The Hood and Leprechaun Returns, and then I think there's another one. That's pretty original. I'm kind of into it. But uh, yeah, the kills. I feel like that they're pretty iconic for these type of horror movies. Like they love to just go off the rails and yeah. do and whatever they want. The more creative, the better. Yeah, honestly. Um, if you could have one thing from set, what would it be? <laughs> you can't say that one. <laughs> um, you're right. <laughs> Pro- probably a pot of gold i guess that'd be cool to actually have like oh dude i have a leprechaun hat i should have brought it should have i meant to yeah i meant to have something because i thought you is... had like a green uh jacket i've got green i don't think i have a green jacket i feel like you'd be that type of person to have a green jacket i almost bought green jeans for last saint patrick's day nice that's really cringy oh yeah i, well, I was just going to a party and i was like well and I just didn't go. I forgot why. <laughs> Actually, I remember why. Yeah, uh, I think I would say pot of gold. Pot of gold. You know, I was thinking about that. Oh, I'd love to just. I need. We need movie props. I want. I will spend my stimmy on a movie prop. That's something that was like actually in a movie. One of the Star Wars ships. Yes. <laughs> oh, one of those miniatures out, but... would be so cool to have. Or an R two D two like. Yeah. I, oh man, there's this. I think I've told. I'm gonna tell this story just because he's green. Because it's about Yoda. There's this pawn shop down the road, yeah. and they had a Yoda figurine, and it sat there forever. I don't know if it was for sale. I should have bought it, but it had like a Soviet Union hat on, and it just sat in the corner of that pawn shop until it closed. Wow. <laughs> I I miss going in there and just seeing the Yoda. You know, I was like, <laughs> what's up, man? Um, if you could change one thing to make it better, see this movie, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I feel like we need to reword that. I, I just don't think you should change no, movies I like think this. I got an idea. Yes. Just Jennifer Aniston. More Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Less of those people. Like I hated those guys. Just, oh yeah. The, the, the around uh, the uh, surrounding cast is kind of bleh. Mm-hmm. I'll say. They're kind of nasty. But yes, more Jennifer Aniston, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sorry, she's really pretty. She reminds me of that girl from um, Dirty Dancing. Yes. She looks oh, a little God. bit What's like her. her name? I don't remember her name, but. I'll look it up. She wasn't, I think she was in Back she to the remind Future. She reminded, I feel like her, Durda, uh, Jennifer Grey. Wow. I see it. Remember, yeah. She looks um, a little bit like, look at. Look I at see that. it. Oh, R.E.P. Patrick Swayze, though. She reminds me of, and I'm sure they were, they're probably around the same age, but um, Jennifer Conley. Yeah, a little bit. Like, the, yeah. both of them young. They have very similar. Like, Did you know she was in Tower Heist? Jennifer Conley? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that movie. Um, I watched the movie oh, again. I was like, holy shit, she's in that movie. She is top. Oh, I love <laughs> Jennifer Conley. Hi, <laughs> right, today we're going to be talking about the women we love in movies. Oh, man. <laughs> 
That's what this should be, because like it's you know it's Women's Month or whatever. I don't yeah. Know what they call it Women's Appreciation Month. Uh, uh, Jennifer had Anderson. The uh, time Jennifer of Connelly. my life. <laughs> I love that movie. Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have the oh I have the vinyl. You've... The story for it is insane. Mm-hmm. It's like it's the craziest thing I've ever heard from any other movie besides Home Alone, because apparently <laughs> that one had like some serious issues. But yeah, this this. Anyways, we got sidetracked. Very no, fast. it's fine. I mean, this is a film <laughs> report. We're just here to talk about Leprechaun and whatever. I don't know what you could change in this movie to make it. Better. It's just one of those. It's not even a B movie. Like it, it's just like it's so just bad. Like you just kind of you know. It's a generic '90s movie. Yeah, it's yeah. just a generic. Like it's oh, not. It's not what like. Did I watch that was Trimark? I just watched. Hold on. <laughs> hold yeah, on. This movie wasn't like. Um, this movie wasn't like groundbreaking or anything like that it was just it's a generic 90s movie and it's got that you know it still has that 80s vibe so it's never really grown and it feels like the entire movie just sat in one place yeah and that's what a lot of 90s 90 movie, 90s movies have also the uh i think okay i think i might have something that might change it mm-hmm. i think they should nerf the leprechaun a little bit nerf him he's too yeah. strong it's not even that he's too strong but dude literally shot him with a shotgun. Oh, yeah. And it was fine. And I'm like, okay, well, this kind of took it off for me. But then I realized, yeah, I'm watching a really stupid Leprechaun movie. So why am I even thinking about and this that? This is true. <laughs> I, I, I got halfway into the movie. I was like, I don't even know why I'm criticizing this at this point. <laughs> they know how goofy it is because the dude, the little dude literally like got a go-kart and was able to like oh, yeah. push that truck. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, it's all over the place, man. It's great though. I love. I'm watching right now um, a bunch of really crappy like horror. Um, they're on Hulu. Yeah, there's like twenty of them, and yeah, there's like a bunch. there's like this collection. It's called Into the Dark. It was <laughs> um, it was recommended by um, Alex Lindsgraf. Oh, cool. I was That's like, so weird. Oh yeah. Was that okay? I, I was just surprised. I don't know, but I'm watching them, and they're like. They're entertainment. They're like an hour and a yeah, half, and sure. like it's. I'm tr- I'm trying to watch them all, but they're like by Bloomhouse. Yeah, that's what Bloomhouse does. It's just sh- chill out, a bunch of shitty horror movies. Yeah, uh, likes and dislikes. <laughs> like Jennifer Aniston. Dislike everything else. Everything else. <laughs> and the kills and the Leprechaun. I'll give it the makeup for the Leprechaun. Yeah, they were kind of they were fine for the nineties. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then would you remake? I mean, it's been there's yeah. six other sequels, Jeff dude. Aniston and that is just so iconic. <laughs> yeah, this is one of her first like big roles. I mean, good for her. Wow. I'd say like yeah, yeah. her burst onto stardom. The, stardom. She was yeah. like 21 in this movie. I'm pretty sure she would have been because the movie came out in 1993. Quick math. Quick math. That's not quick. Shh. You're doing. You're using a calculator. Shh. I just. Once they have a... 24. She's 24. She didn't look 24. She looks very, very young. Good for her. I mean, she looks like she's like 30 now. Shit. Yeah. If I could change anything about this movie, I'd just take out the kid and the big guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, the kids are just kind of... Yeah. Kids in the 90s movie. There was a was Ferris so Bueller TV series? Yeah. For a little bit. What the hell? Has got like five episodes? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Take out that kid. Take out that guy. Because that kid was so annoying. Because like, he acted like a, an adult. And then, like, he, I don't know. He was just so dumb. So this has been the most distracted. Because Leprechaun's a shit movie. What else do you want us to say? It is pretty shitty. But we watched it because it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, technically not right now. But no, it is. When For the continuity. Um, critical rating. Two. Two. I'll give it a two. Wow, I was being polite. That's weird. <laughs> I'll give it a two. It's just, I mean, I'll watch them and I'll, I'll love them. Like enjoyment rating, it's like a six. Yeah. But like critical, it's just like I know these movies are bad. Like there's no redeeming quality. Yeah. And it's like almost meant to be bad. Like I don't think the director was like, man, I can't wait. Leprechaun, Leprechaun two. I can't wait to make my director like masterpiece. Dude, if you send a snap, sorry. <laughs> I was there was a timer in one of them, and it makes me anxious. 
if you set a snap with infinity on it, mm-hmm. it doesn't like it, it. Friends can save it in chat. That's a new feature. What? So all your snaps go to chat? If you if you put it in the infinity without a time. Oh, so all my snaps. It can. Well, that's it can. interesting. Yeah. That's fine. Sorry, what were we talking about? I don't know. Leprechaun. I, leprechaun. <laughs> uh, the leprechaun uh, dies. No, he doesn't. No, because there's six more. Yeah, Happy, what can we say? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yay. I don't drink. Let's wrap this one up because I'm going to forget. Ooh, thank you all for watching. That's been our St. Patrick's Day episode. We watched Leprechaun. Fur Film Port is great. Dude, look at that form. She's Oh, swole. <laughs> Did you see Natalie Portman? Yes. <laughs> She's ripped. <laughs> she, her arms are bigger than mine. Oh, shit. That was funny as hell. I was like, that can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was her stunt double. Yeah, me too. I was like, that's not. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Close it. Um, thank y'all for watching. Go check out down below our Spotify and iTunes. We've got some of our podcasts up on there. Check out our socials. Make sure you subscribe. We've got these coming out every week and all sorts of movie content. If you like movies, you should watch these. Thank y'all for watching. We love movies. We love y'all. I'm Will. Hi. That's when. See y'all next time. Look out for the Snyder Cut special. Oh, we, we, don't got, know what, we don't know what we're going to uh, do. So much Snyder stuff yeah. is going to come. <laughs> yeah, we're either going to do a watch party or a live stream. Or a watch party and a live stream. Yeah. We'll see. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Yeah, goodbye.